So whenever I want to go on an adventure to see some wildlife, I don't really consider my hometown. I've lived along the River Crouch and estuary in the southeast of England all my life. And I know this stretch along the sea wall well, and to tell you the truth, I've become a little bit numb to it. I'd even say I've become a little bit pessimistic about the nature here and that's not fair. Because nature is all around us, whether if it's crawling through the mud, growing on a branch or soaring through the sky, all you have to do is just get out there and look for it. So on this bright crispy winter day, I'm going to go for a walk along the river and you're coming too. I'd just like to give some thanks to the guys over on Patreon who support Leave Curious. Your commitment is a tremendous help. If you're interested in joining the Curious community and getting early access and exclusive content, then head over there now. Actually, no, wait, <laughs> watch this video first. All right, our journey begins on foot today. We are going, just got to walk through the town a little bit before we get to uh, start getting to some fields and the uh, you see wool. Hey, would you look at that? We got some moles, some little mole hills. Must be good down there. The life of a mole. Now that's something to ponder. Living in the dirt, can't see anything. All, all you can do is dig. So one of my goals today, and for life generally, is to really just be present in the moment. Just to take a minute to look a little longer at stuff I'd ordinarily glaze over. Not only does it make me more empathetic to my surroundings, but it's good for my well-being. Whether if you're a nature nerd like me or anything else, spending time observing nature is good for the soul. These little, these little runs into this just sort of overgrown Just teeming with birds, they're all flying around. It's just like a little overgrown spot that runs parallel to the railway line and probably where people come and do peas. But I guess it's the closest thing we've got to a bit of rugged nature. Okay. This looks kind of treacherous here. These shoes don't have the most grip in the world. I saw so much wildlife and was lucky enough to capture some nice moments. Look at that mud. Let's go. Let's get down here. Just taking our first tumble. That's when I wasn't falling in the mud. But I realised the wildlife here is marginalised, penned in by the seawall and limited by managed land. You see, all of this land, either side of the river, would naturally be salt marsh. A rich habitat that gives life, prevents flooding and stores carbon. Along the 8 mile stretch that I walked, I didn't see any, just river, seawall, agriculture. Seawalls can and have been breached. This allows the river in and over time, through a process called coastal accretion, salt marsh forms. The tide's just right for me to just about make it down here. Hey look, check this out. Something's made a nest in there. Look, can you see? I did bring a small snack with me. Okay, well. That's it, the sun's gone down. Thanks so much for an awesome day. I've had great fun, we saw some wildlife, we've got some fresh air. 
Uh, but now I think it's time that I get home. <laughs> get out and explore your local area. Whoops, Daisy. You enjoy it. Oh man, look at all this mud. You'll have some fun. Do all the YouTube things, like, comment, and subscribe. It helps the algorithm and everything if you do that. And also, if you want to support Live Curious over on Patreon, you can. I'm going to be re releasing some exclusive content this year. And uh, you can also buy a sustainably made t-shirt. But in the meantime, thanks for watching. Live Curious. And it's, yeah, there you go. Look at that. Beautiful.